Yo, what's going on guys, Roy here, and today's video is gonna be a setup video. I've done one every single year. I'm gonna have on screen right now, showing you guys my first setup video, my second one in 2017, my 2018 setup video, and now today will be my 2019 setup video. Usually once a year I do these and I upload them to my channel, just kind of show you what's changing my setup, what peripherals I'm using, what I use to record, what I use to edit, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video, and we're gonna hop right into the setup tour. All right, so here's my setup video. I'm gonna go through the entire thing, show you all the stuff that I use to record, all the stuff that I use to play games and stuff like that. So yeah, starting underneath my desk, we have my main PC that I've had for a while, and then here's my streaming PC. I'll have the specs on screen right now and in the description if you wanna check those out. The only other important stuff underneath my desk, my capture card. So basically what sends the video from my gaming PC to my streaming PC on my OBS up there is uh, I'm using an Extreme Cap U3. That's a Aver Media Extreme Cap U3. And then there is my headset amp. I believe it is a Shit Magni, S-C-H-I-I-T-M-A-G-N-I. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys behind me. This is my, this is the chair I'm using. Uh, this is the Herman Miller Aeron chair. It is uh, pretty expensive, but you can find it for good deals on Amazon or actually on like Craigslist and stuff like that. Um, other than that, behind me, I have my, just a random little holder for all the lanyards and events I've been to. Like I just recently went to PAX East, well, I went last year and this year, my lanyard from ESL New York, ESL New York before that, Atlanta, just basically every lanyard I've had from every event possible. And then here are the lights that I use in the background of my stream. These are the Nano Leaf Auroras. They actually are controlled on the app. On my phone, I can do all the adjustments for it. I usually have it set on this little color cycling one at like 15%. All right, so now onto the main part of my video. This is basically what it looks like when I'm sitting down in my chair. I'm pretty far back. I'm up against my wall though. But yeah, this is my setup. I'm just gonna go through everything that I have, all the equipment that I use to make videos and stuff. Um, I guess starting right out in front of me, I got my main monitor. Um, this is a BenQ 240Hz monitor. These two monitors with the wallpapers on them are connected to my main PC down below. The one up top is for my streaming PC, that is this one down over here. Um, so this is a 240Hz monitor. This is a 144Hz monitor, and up top is a 144Hz monitor. So yeah, my main keyboard is the HyperX Alloy FPS RGB. My other keyboard for my second PC is the HyperX Alloy FPS. It's the one without the, basically it's without these keys on the side. It's basically the same keyboard. Over here I have the Final Mouse Air 58. Um, that's just controlling my second PC and I have an extra Zowie GSR mouse pad down below just kind of sitting there. So yeah, I kind of have my desk sectioned off and the things right in front of me is obviously where I'd play games. So I have my keyboard and my main mouse and then over here controls my second PC. Another thing I have controlling my second PC is my stream deck. I just got it, so it's not really that customized yet, but I just have it for switching OBS scenes and Spotify on my second PC for now. So over here to my mouse pad, I'm using the Zowie GSR mouse pad and I'm currently using the Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. Pretty good mouse, I've been using it for a few months now. For my headset, this is the Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro. This is the 250 OHM version, so that's why I have a headset amp down below. Here's my mic that I've been using for years. This is the Rode NT1, and I have it on a Rode PSA1 mic mount. I put this little pop filter on top of that. I got it off Amazon for like a couple bucks, and the shock mount came in the box. I don't know if they still sell this anymore, but it's just a normal Rode shock mount. I don't know if you can read that on the side. So like I said before, all my stuff that I would use to play games is in front of me. My streaming stuff is on the left side. I forgot to mention before, this is just a normal tripod that I got off Amazon connected to a Logitech Brio. This is the camera I use for streaming. It's a pretty decent camera, nothing, I don't need anything crazy, so it does a job. Over here on the right side of my desk, this is my mouse bungee. It's just a normal Zowie mouse bungee that's just holding the little USB thing. I don't really need it, but I just kind of keep it there. Back here, I got my PS4 that I never touch, and over here is my audio setup. I'm using two mixers for a couple different reasons. I'll just quickly go over, I'm not gonna go too in-depth in it. But yeah, this is a Behringer 1204 Xenix, something like that. Xenix 1204 USB mixer. And then back here is a Line 6 UX2 mixer. Both of them are USB mixers. If you're wondering why I'm using two, I have this mic connected to this little splitter cable. The splitter cable will send basically my mic audio to my streaming PC and my gaming PC, so I don't have to use two mics. And I also have this mixer for a dual PC setup. If you want me to go in depth on a dual PC setup, I can. I'll probably do that on my second channel. Just let me know in the comments if that's what, something you're interested in. But long story short, this Line 6 UX2 mixer is strictly for sending my mic audio to my main PC and this mixer basically does everything else. It'll send my game PC audio to my streaming PC, my mic audio to my streaming PC, and it'll send everything back in through my headset right down there. And I guess the only other thing on my setup are these three hum reducers. I have one back here, 
and two behind this monitor stand. These things basically just cancel out electrical noise and analog audio. Long story short, you need them if you want your audio to sound good on a analog mixer setup that I'm using right now. If you're wondering what I use to make videos and stuff like that, I use Vegas Pro 16. Photoshop CC, those are the, well obviously Photoshop to make thumbnails and Vegas to edit. So yeah, this PC is dedicated to streaming. I have OBS.Live on this PC. Uh, that is the stream elements version of OBS. And on my main PC, what I use for recording without overlays and stuff like that, I use just regular OBS Studio. All right, so yeah, there's a quick tour of my entire setup. I, if I missed anything, feel free to drop a comment. If you have any questions about what I'm using and why I'm using it, there's a comment section down there. I'll do my best to respond. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.